Okay, hello my friend. And then I am planning to show you that how works this Toyota Corolla Dual VVTi engines, these valve lifters and this valves compression. And there is really situation that this camshaft press these rolls, look. They are really interesting. And I can actually take that part away and there is small, really small bearing in here and this must be, this is really accurate part, look. And in that area there is oil, this uh, lubrication, there is hole in that area and there is always oiling in there and when camshaft press this part down, then valve goes down, down. And next I can go to take this my this camshaft that we can see that how this camshaft and these valves works. Okay, and here I have this camshaft and this camshaft goes normally in this position and then when camshaft is moving these camshafts cams these areas they press these wheels look and they press that wheel down down this is so hard spring in here that I can't press that down but this cam when it moves this part there is even this movement areas it press down this part in here. Okay, now I now I took away some of those, and then we can look a little bit closer this cam movement. Okay, and here we have really this bearing and this wheel, what what moves all time and it takes contact to this camshaft and then when camshaft cam comes in here it plays da down that part and then valves open and now I take this my cam in here and we can see that okay these are really sensitive parts and now I have to be sure that this is second this is Fourth, and this is first one. And then this camshaft in here, they press down this area in here. And and now this this is a little bit difficult to demonstrate, but idea is that this part and then that part. This part press when camshaft moves in that way, then it press down this. Sorry, it press press down this part when the camshaft is moving. This is cam what comes in here, and then press it down in that way. Okay, good. And this is this camshaft info and then we look that also in this direction. Okay, and we can look also this camshaft's movement in that direction and now I install <coughs> first this camshaft lifter back. Good. And then when we have this camshaft, this is intake camshaft, these areas normally they are in like up, but then when this camshaft moves and this head comes in here, it press just in this side down so much that this valve goes also down. And then valves open and this air and fuel goes to piston. Okay, good. And same idea in this exhaust area also. 